Pulmonary hypertension can be divided into hypertensive and non-hypertensive. The former is associated with pulmonary arterial hypertension while the latter is not. Hypertensive PR is associated with severe pulmonary hypertension. It produces a blowing decrescendo early diastolic murmur with the eponym Graham steel murmur. The murmur is heard in the pulmonary area and left sternal border resembling the murmur of AR. It may be heard in Eisenmenger syndrome, severe primary pulmonary arterial hypertension and severe PH secondary to left heart diseases like severe mitral stenosis. The murmur starts early in diastole after a loud P2. A mid-diastolic and pre-systolic murmur known as right-sided Austin Flynn murmur may sometimes be associated. Pulmonary regurgitation can occur without pulmonary hypertension in 1. Infective endocarditis due to perforation and other types of valvular damage. 2. After repair of tetralogy of fallow, especially with a transanular patch. 3. After surgical or percutaneous relief of pulmonary stenosis. 4. Absent pulmonary valve, though usually associated with tetralogy of fallow, can occur in isolation. 5. Carcinoid syndrome involving mainly the right-sided valves. 6. Rheumatic heart disease. Rheumatic fever can very rarely involve the pulmonary valve. Since the hemodynamic load is least on the pulmonary valve, involvement of pulmonary valve by rheumatic process is least likely. Most often in rheumatic heart disease, PR is due to mitral stenosis and severe pulmonary hypertension, that is hypertensive PR. The murmur of non-hypertensive PR is of lower pitch and delayed diastolic occurring a bit delayed after P2 compared to the murmur of AR which occurs immediately after A2. Severe PR after repair of tetralogy of fallow may lead to right ventricular failure in the long run and need interventions. It can cause decreased exercise capacity, increased arrhythmias and risk of sudden cardiac death. Pulmonary valve replacement if needed should be done before irreversible RV dysfunction sets in. 87% of surgically operated cases of PS had PR on echocardiography. 28% of the PR was more than moderate as documented by the second natural history study of congenital heart defects. It may be noted that surgical pulmonary valvotomy is seldom done these days. Surgical management is reserved for supra and subvalvar pulmonary stenosis. PR seems to be less common after balloon pulmonary valvotomy. Here are some important references on pulmonary regurgitation. The remaining references on PR are here.